The Grand River Blues Camp is a day camp, a music day camp for young musicians. Uh, we've got them for four days. Friday afternoon, we get them down to the Kitchener Blues Festival. We usually before an audience of anywhere from 250 to 500 people, maybe more. Our camp that we've been working three days on is finally performing um, on stage at the Kitchener Blues Festival, so it's pretty awesome. It's a first time for me playing in front of like uh, a bigger crowd, like on a big stage and stuff like that. This is a good experience for me. I think it'll be fun. We've got all sorts of people that have been working so hard this week. Come on, skedaddle up here. We're going to get this show on the road. Okay, without further ado, let me present these wonderful, wonderful people to you. Grand River Blues Camp, all star. <laughs> In the room, we have people from all over the place. We've got people from uh, all over Ontario, different cities have come here today. We even got a couple people from Louisiana, as far away as that. Um, so you're gonna meet a lot of great people that you probably haven't met before and make some good friends, hopefully. And you can all learn from each other. And that's, that's kind of our philosophy here. We're here to have fun. This is not X Factor or American Idol. This is not a competition. This is where we all get together and support each other. And at the end of it all, make this great big beautiful musical show and we all get a chance to add our little contribution to it. The whole idea is give them a chance to meet other musicians, give them a chance to play. Once you give them a flavor for what they're going to do, they're going to put a band together and they're going to be playing on a stage in four days. It's just incredible how hard they work at it and how, uh, how much effort they put into it. amazing short week. I mean the first day is very chaotic and they're trying to, everyone's meeting each other for the first time. And then we split up into groups and the guitar players go in one room and the bass players go in another room and the drummers and the keyboard players and the horn players all go in their separate ways. Then we kind of divide up the songs, who's going to play on what. And then, like we're doing today, we start running some of the songs and seeing, okay, maybe you need to work on this and maybe we can give you some advice on this. And, and the great thing is, who better to give advice than people who've been playing professionally for 30 years or that sort of thing. You really pay attention to your band members when you're up here. You, you cue them as to when shots are going to be or when there's choruses or when there's verses. And, you know, because we're all in this together, we're all in this. The very first day the teachers all get together and play three songs, totally unrehearsed. But these people are such professionals, it's like usually a really big moment. And it's, you know, meant to inspire the kids as to, you know, what you could do this week kind of thing. see some of them there you know they come in and they're all like and they don't really know what to sing and they you know they get up to the microphone and they're just so gentle like the, by day three when they get up on that microphone that's a different person that came in than day one. And seeing that is just like, wow. Because you just get to see them blossom. And you get to see it every day. It's a little bit more and a little bit better. And by Friday, it's like, come on. You know, like, it's mind blowing.
I'm also a big believer in a kid can, can arrive and look rough around the edges, be brand spanking new to the genre of blues. That's nothing to me. Every kid can, can take it beyond your wildest imagination. I've had so many kids that have astonished me where I thought, well, there's not really much natural you know, talent going on there. And then they just work at it and they want it. And, and a kid that's got uh, a little bit of talent and works is going to do great. The importance of trying to get professional musicians connecting with the young kids, because that's not a real easy... <laughs> That's not a really easy thing to have happen on its own because there really aren't a lot of venues for that to, for that to take place. And what those musicians do, I don't think you can overstate that. They make it happen, you know, they're the ones that can take 50 kids and have a performance that's actually worth people coming out to watch. Can you do that over again? Well, yeah, that was the idea. Yeah. Because they were just going 1515. Five, one, five. Yeah. And we, we talk about teamwork a lot. It isn't like this singer's better than this one or this guitar player's better than this one. They can all teach each other something. And that's, that's what we try to really emphasize is that, hey, everyone can help everyone out. And, uh, and music is that kind of process where everyone is working together to make a really good show. inspiration and I just feel way better with my singing like I feel way more confident and it's a lot easier. It doesn't even matter what level of singing or instrument you're playing like they just make it work and really make you believe in yourself when you're performing. I started coming here as a student, I think seven years ago. I wanted to learn more about playing music, doing music as a profession, and then they hired me to start teaching. And I loved doing it because I knew how much it helped me when I was a young kid trying to, you know, work my way into the music scene. Now I get to give that back to the kids that are trying to do the same thing, so it's, it's really great. I try to That's ask it. them what they're comfortable That's with, what kind of stuff they play, and get an idea of where they're all at, and then I use that in the approach of how I'm going to try to teach them the songs. I think the appeal, or at least for me, is the fact that most of us here are, are not teachers, <laughs> we're musicians, and so we're going to give it to them straight. I don't mind if they see a little a little upset because somebody thought this happened or you know I didn't get my way. I, that's going to happen in a band too. There is a sort of stage etiquette, and I'm and I'm trying to show them that turn down if it's his solo, etc. Things like that, you know. We start doing serious run-throughs, like dress rehearsal kind of style, because there's actually not enough time on Friday morning to do a full dress rehearsal for a full two-hour show. Then Friday late in the morning we get all loaded up and we get down to the stage and then we play our big show on Friday afternoon and sometimes some really magical things just happen on that big stage at, at Kitchener Blues Fest, which like I said is probably one of the biggest blues festivals in the world, really.
I think it's a great experience and a great way for young blues musicians to connect and to have a bit of a community to start their blues careers together. Everybody gets nervous, but I mean, I'm pretty excited too, just to be on stage and have that experience with a blues band and with all your friends around you just kind of jamming out and having a good time. I am shocked that we can take 50 kids and get them playing together and whip them into shape in four days, put them on stage and put on a pretty darn impressive performance. The kids loved it, the parents loved it, the audience loved it. Thank you so much.